is presented by PNC Bank. Yeah, right here in Little Havana in three. And the Pirates have won all three games of this series so far. The opening day win, season opening win streak. Roller over there to second base for a rise. A bit of a wide throw. DH this afternoon. Short. This time it's Anderson to Berger. Two up in 2022. And now the count runs full. Of the plate, Fortes. How about that? A delay sets up away, and it uh, was the slider. Ocean Bank back up and in. One and two is taken down low. Another splitter from Falter. Face season debut. Berger takes a strike. Yeah. And it'll work. Dumps it into left field. Arise coming around third. And the Marlins take the lead. Always have to stay aware out there. Delay keeps that one in front, which at recess out there. This on for a base hit. Bell will stop at third. And right center, he's got a. Found it when he gets up there with. Ball on opening day. Comes up empty right there, and that the first out. Get some of that good feeling. And you know you're going to get an engaging conversation, too. <laughs> Falter deals and goes to the fastball and a strike says. Start. Taken upstairs. Third. Hayes gets a good hop and the inning is over, but the Marlins 3 1. Hey, bit Michael A. Taylor out there. The middle. And it's Anderson from the second base side. Here's Jared Triolo. Ball into left center field. And De La Cruz couldn't make the... Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, Marlins going four straight lefties out of the game. The left, De La Cruz can't make the play. And this one's going to get to the Williams on his way to third. And he has held a couple of runs after the five-run first for the Marlins. And now two balls and no strikes to Jason DeLay. You pitches. Including that one. Sinker at 93, and he gets the swing and miss. Upstairs for ball four. Try to get him to chase the changeup. Inside, three balls, two strikes. All territory. Three Marlins there. Anyway, three and two. Play. Rogers thought about it. Pulled back. Bases, of course, remain loaded. To first, and the inning is over. Uh, when you do that, uh, good things usually happen. And, and again, big picture here, it's three games. It's a marathon, not a sprint. You've heard that a million times. Um, you know, we very easily could have won that first game. We didn't get it. Obviously, Hayes up to bat was a big uh, beat just fine, but he looked actually really good. You know, I, I know the stats first inning. Towards second base. And the inning is over. Base. <laughs> Not the case. And that's, I mean, he's played a lot of third base. He's played some first base, too. And Rogers comes back with the fastball for the strikeout. Another ball not hit all that well. A little bit off the end of the bat, but a base hit. He's with two out. You talked about uh, 12 runs. He'll get the ball up against Chase Silsef. Six for a 640 first pitch and Telez puts that one away. Drive by Telez laying out to take away extra bases. His first start of the year. Well for them last night. Bouncer to first base. How about Rowdy? We're getting through the storm a little bit and get belt just as much as a 1-2-3 inning. This one into right and obvious. The field. De La Cruz. I don't know if it knuckled on him or what but he's able to and now for sure you want him to get through this inning because here comes the throw from center field a little bit off the mark a uh, nice single moving the second on the throw coming in is Avi to put that one away dang that was a fun giveaway center field and it's up we gave you a list of guys three or five sale great for him there's plenty of evidence to show all hard and sticking with it good things will home run from Avi here in the fourth. 
That's a... You have a guy like Luis Rice. And then you check back in with Kelly in a little bit. <laughs> Thank you for spending some of it with us, though. Round backhanded by Triolo. And Ortiz works a one. Ryan Hayes leading off against Vladimir Gutierrez, his second inning of work after a 1-2-3. And it's even nicer when there are apocalyptic storms in practice. Three and two on Hayes. Uh, three, two. Inside ball four. We had an 0-4 start. Last time they had one of those was 2001. They lost three to Philadelphia. That was 90 years before the Marlins came into existence. <laughs> think about that. One and two. Barris, I think uh, in limited action, just seeing him for these four against righties last year. We didn't see him the first couple. 1-0 from Gutierrez. Good look. 1-2. Field, Jazz getting underneath it. Makes the catch, no advantage. Front door. <laughs> it's even better. Yeah. <laughs> Same day. Gutierrez deals and grounded foul. See if the uh, the Marlins can turn the. Pop foul. Yeah, Marlins is a club last year. One, two. In watching Triolo this series, though, he strikes. And Gutierrez gets him on the changeup. Darting out of the six strikeouts. And the first pitch strike there from Gutierrez. One ball, one strike. Held up, two and one. Two balls in a strike. Telez takes that fastball right on the corner. Good pitch from Gutierrez. In a two-run game, and the runners will get a head start now with the count full. Now, why is that? Because there are pitches that three and two. Try it one more time. Yeah, that's a good point. I, I think that's what we've seen. Two strike pitch. And again, a foul ball. Payoff pitch. And way center field. All seven of the pirate runs to first base to complete the strikeout pirates take the lead on a his 30th birthday today his first pitch is inside to arise and it's a ball and no strike it was still a close game it almost feel like the Marlins were running away with this one even though really today grounded outside first and we'll do it again they felt that the batter's eye was uh, tough here especially with the roof open and and Sixteen. Check that. Seventeen innings now. We're at the plate. Deep right center. So it's Paul brought it up. Major damage uh, with two outs. They did it with seven runs today. Say because it's been one run slider snared by Bruhan two away. Well, not to. And six runs. To Anderson toward the second base bat. That new look bullpen. 99 down and in. Yeah, Chapman with a uh, one two. Away there to De La Cruz in front of David Bednar. We saw make his season debut last night. In right. And he makes the catch. That's maybe why I got the splitter. This Still triple digits from Chapman. And as we talk so much about the tunneling. The fact For a long time. It's not like all of a sudden he lost it and had to start coming up with this. Here in the ninth inning. Gutierrez trying to keep it at a one run. Field for Garcia. Showing butt, pulls it back and takes a strike. Taylor, his first plate appearance. Five innings. At a 38 pitch second inning where the Pirates scored three runs.
four walks and six strikeouts in his season debut. Two balls, two strikes now to Gutierrez with a 2-2 pitch. And a base hit right back up the middle for Taylor. So he Gutierrez deals to Sawinski, missing outside. Angels will put a three-game set. Runner goes. And a stolen base there for Taylor. With the speed and the jump, gets into scoring position.